A couple of things before we get started, folks. First things first. Please, at no point during or after the presentation, try to handle our weapons. They are real and they are dangerous. Now, with all the safety talk out of the way, <laughs> who's got a cell phone with them today? Raise your hand. Anyone? Anyone want to throw them up in the air? Go ahead. <laughs> No, if they get to talking, fussing, cussing, or crying, you can take them outside, sit at the bench. You'll see the show in its entirety. What we need to discuss before we get started, folks, is this is an audience participation show. And what that means is, every time you see the good guys, or dapper gentlemen, dressed like myself, we want you to cheer for us every single time. <laughs> every single time we enter or exit the stage. Now on the other hand, when you see the bad guys, they look like dirty, smelly cowboys. <laughs> we want you to boo them every time they enter or exit the stage. Simple enough, right? right yes. That was convincing. <laughs> Are you both ready for a gunfight? Yeah. yeah! Are you ready for a killing? Yeah! People are sick! <laughs> Tight, folks, that show will begin in about 45 minutes. Relax, enjoy the rain. Especially in this weather. 
I got half of my name and it says we go back down there. We shows that in his box. Oh, we ain't going back there with the Alhambra. I that's just trouble we don't need. What I need. Look, what I need, boy, is another drink. And judging by the looks of the both of you. <laughs> Look, I need another drink, Tom, and one of y'all is buying, all right? Come on. Oh, let's go. Now, don't you think you had enough for now? Don't you think, baby? I would tell you when I've had enough, Macari. <laughs> Put your hands down, Tom. My gun is empty. Oh. The only thing loaded around here is me. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> hey, come on, Tom, you're buying. Let's go. Keep up. Hey, Barkeep, whiskey. Uh, Bartender, I'm <laughs> Morgan Herbs. Oh, tell me, Morgan, how many herbs you got in town? What is it, 10, 15? <laughs> There's five, Ike. More than enough to handle you, boys. Okay, what's that supposed to be? What do you want it to be? How do you get that boy like a man? And you know, every single time we come out, we go, but ain't that longer. I'll call the day. I reckon he's gonna go out of town and what? Spread some more lies about me, Doc? I do believe I've only ever told the truth about you. I smart boy. You're a drunken fool. Okay, I'm going to get We don't need this now. Well, there's no need to worry, Tom. Nothing will come of this. You see, I can talk. I talk. But he never does back up any of those threats. No, sir, he is just a coward. <laughs> You better watch yourself, Holiday. They'll make me kill you. I'm through with your words, Ike. You threatened me. You threatened the Earth Boys, and I'm sick of hearing it. What do you say we settle this little blood feud here and now? All right, Doc. That's just fine by me. <laughs>
think, you boys, you're going to do me like that. You're going to tell your, your little friend, Holiday, I'm going to be waiting for him in the morning. Watch yourself. You're next, all right? <laughs> for all y'all in the morning, all right? Yeah. He'll change his mind as soon as that hangover sets in. And in luck, he'll just go home, pass out, forget about the whole thing. Mount Virgil wins our luck. That would have been that good. Never. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, yes. Yeah. Like you, my 
my whole life, right? You don't, Jerry. I'll go down to Carlton. Down to San Simone. I will fight you and every single man in your day. Oh, you touch my family. I will kill you. Sure was a lot of tough talk, Wyatt. You know, it's really just a shame. It's coming from a dead man! Wait. You boys, you boys had your chance to to run us out of this town. But this is our home! And we ain't leaving. So, for all this, all of this ends today, Wyatt. I'm the top. Let's go, boys. I'll be seeing you around, Wyatt. No, no Billy! <laughs> we'll be more cowboys here in a minute. What do we do about their big gun? Curly Bill. Johnny Ringo. Don't worry about that. You see, when I keep himself shot, or it's just more spoiled for the rest of us. The rate he's going, that might just happen. And he's drunk and suspicious, Virgil. He knows about this deal with me and turning them stage robbers. I'll tell you what, though. If Curly Bill and Ringo do find out about this, it's not going to sit well. The very best, very secret. What? Yeah. 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 What's going on out here, Wyatt? No, look, it look. is police business. None of yours. Well, there are more cowboys in town, Virgil. Where it has it, they're gonna put you. Well, they're not far from here. They're held up in the empty lot behind the OK Corral on Fremont Street. <laughs> <laughs> they look to be business and boys. They've got guns. And we will take their guns away. Virgil. Fine. You're coming with us, you listen to me. Hang back. Take this. Let's go. Shotguns went off, but he still refused to die. 
Pickled up pretty bad, Virgil wandered the west until death found him in Nevada in 1905. Not as lucky was Wyatt's kid brother Morgan. He was shot in the back and killed playing a game of pool up on Allen Street. Morgan died at midnight, March 19, 1882. His brother Wyatt's birthday. Now in 1887, the year this old town began to fall apart, the two main causes of this gunfight died hundreds of miles apart from each other. That summer, trying to put together a new gang up in northern Arizona, Ike Clanton was shot and killed by a mail order detective. What? <laughs> Not long after that, after a lifetime of drinking and smoking, well, tuberculosis caught up with yours truly up in Colorado. I don't care to talk about it. <laughs> Wyatt Earp was the last man standing out of all this. He'd spent his days trapped. Wyatt made his way from Idaho to Alaska, finally ending up in Jazz Age Hollywood, mm -hmm. searching for another tombstone and chair to get things right again. He never would find it. When Wyatt died in Los Angeles in 1929, just ahead of his 81st birthday, his final words... Suppose. Suppose. And that, folks, is our show. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah.